Regulation of Mergers, Major Antitrust Legislation, by Mohammed Zanir, www.trcb.me slash Zanir. The logic behind antitrust legislation is that if the courts can prevent collusion among sellers of a product, monopoly prices will not result and there will be no restriction of output. There will be no economic profits in the long run. A. The Sherman Antitrust Act of 1890 This act was the first attempt by the federal government meant to control the growth of monopoly in the United States. The most important provisions of the act are as follows. Section 1 prohibits every contract, combination in the form of trust or otherwise or conspiracy, in the restraint of trade or commerce among the several states, or with foreign nations. Section 2 makes it illegal to monopolize, or attempt to monopolize, or combine or conspire with any other person or persons to monopolize any part of trade or commerce. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. B. The Clayton Act of 1914 The Sherman Act was so vague that in 1914 a new law was passed called the Clayton Act. It prohibited or limited a number of very specific business practices, which were felt to be unreasonable attempts at restraining trade or commerce. Some of the sections of the Act are listed here. Section 2 makes price discrimination illegal except in cases where the differences are due to differences in selling or transportation costs. Section 3 states that producers cannot sell on the condition that the purchaser shall not deal in the goods of any competitors of the seller. Section 7 prohibits corporations from holding stock in another company where the effect may substantially lessen competition. Also, it is illegal per se for the same individual to serve on two or more boards of directors of corporations that are competitive. C. The Federal Trade Commission Act of 1914 and its 1938 amendment, the Federal Trade Commission Act was designed to stipulate acceptable competitive behavior. It was supposed to prevent cutthroat pricing which would eliminate too many competitors. The Federal Trade Commission is charged with the power to investigate unfair competitive practice. In 1938 the Federal Trade Commission Act was amended by the Wheeler Lee Act which prohibits unfair or deceptive acts or practices in commerce. D. The Robinson Patman Act of 1936. The law made it illegal to 1. Pay brokerage fees unless an independent broker was employed. 2. Offer concessions such as discounts, free advertising, or promotional allowances, to one buyer of a firm's product if the firm did not offer the same concessions to all buyers of the product. 3. Discriminate, such as to offer quantity discounts whenever they substantially lessen competition. 4. Charge lower prices in one location than in another or to sell at unreasonably low prices if such marketing techniques were designed to destroy competition or eliminate a competitor. E exemptions from antitrust laws 1. All labor unions 2. Public utilities electric, gas and telephone companies 3. Professional sports, especially baseball 4. Cooperative activities among American exports. 5. Schools and hospitals. 6. Public transit and water systems. 7. Suppliers of military equipment. 8. Joint publishing arrangements in a single city by two or more newspapers. Visit trcb.com for more great articles like this now.